we are guided by our constitution mm -hmm. and the, the constitution gives our members the authority to dictate what happens. Mm -hmm. So when all of this information, um, this recent information would have been fed to our members as well as our attorney, they will decide where we go after. Is there a possibility that strike action could take place again? Well, we have not ruled that one out. That was General Secretary of the Ghana Teachers Union, Coretta MacDonald. Provided an update on the next course of action the union hopes to take if the wage talks are stalled again. McDonald says that while it is not the first option to take strike action if they are given no choice, they may have to head down that road again, but this time on a larger scale. The GTU is hopeful that things are going to be, uh, this whole issue will be resolved in a matter of, let's say, a month or two months. Mm -hmm. We are going to be, we will continue to be very vigilant, very vocal, and we will continue to have our members updated on what is happening. Coming out of the last meeting, McDonald said that the GTU had written the Education Ministry, indicating that they are still willing to have talks again about naming someone to chair the arbitration panel. They have not responded to us, but we received a letter from the Department of Labor. Mm -hmm. We will respond to the Department of Labor indicating to them that we only had one meeting. This same department who was saying to us that you needed to have another meeting for conciliation. The Education Ministry on Friday last rejected the GTU proposed arbitrators without giving a reason, resulting in the union also rejected the ministry's arbitrators during the second meeting held last week. The two officials which government proposed were Permanent Secretary of the Telecommunications Ministry, Derek Cummins, and Human Resources Manager of the Ghana Revenue Authority, Glendon Harris. On the other hand, the GTU proposed former Home Affairs Minister Jeffrey Thomas, former Foreign Affairs Minister Rashley Jackson, and an experienced arbitrator Aubrey Armstrong. The GTU two weeks ago called off the nationwide strike after the government gave in to arbitration during the second round of conciliation talks being mediated by Minister Keith Scott. At that time, some 4,000 teachers were on strike after several talks failed between the two parties with regards to salary increase for teachers. The union said they are willing to accept a substantial payout from the government, even after the GTU rejected government's request for teachers to agree to a debunching payoff of $200 million for 2018-2019. Samuel Suknanden, The Evening News.